Hi my lovelies, in today's video I'm going to show you how I deep condition my cornrows using a live-in conditioner. Ciao! Keep on watching! show you that you don't have to have a deep conditioner in order to deep condition your hair you can actually use a live-in conditioner and do the deep conditioning treatment on your hair now ciao as you can see I have a plastic in my head and you'll be like what's going on if you have seen the title of the video you guys I am going to be using my live-in conditioner share miracle moisture intense live-in conditioner so this is what I'm going to be using you guys and I'm going to deep condition my cornrow so this is the very first time I have deep conditioned my cornrows how to do a deep conditioning treatment on your cornrows have you heard about this before be honest be honest. so I'm going to use this to deep condition my cornrows my favorite oil mix a daily leave-in spray this is my fenugreek leave-in spray I'm going to be using this as well to spray my hair before I add this in sheer miracle moisture intense to my hair i have bought this a long time ago and it was just sitting in there doing nothing i decided to use it because i don't want to waste anything i use my own cream which is the warm cream but here yeah, i just decided to use this you guys and to actually show you that you don't have to have a deep conditioner in order to deep condition your hair so this is how i do a deep conditioning treatment on cornrows okay how to deep condition cornrows to watch till the end because very important okay. so in today's video i will be showing you how you can use your living conditioner to deep condition your hair you don't have to have a deep conditioner in order to deep condition now this is the sheer miracle that i have it is a detangler it nourishes for greater shine and softness it also has a good smell you guys which i really love i really love the smell of it and it leaves your hair very very moisturized and also you guys when you're buying products make sure that you're reading the ingredients because it's very important i can actually read the ingredients in it now the other way that you can tell that this product is going to benefit your hair read the ingredients because it's very important if you can't read what's written on the ingredients list it's better not to use that product because you really don't know what you're using as well as you can see the products there's argan oil there's soybean oil there's coconut oil there's shea butter so definitely i love this product okay now in terms of the thickness and the consistency this product it's not really thick the shea miracle is not thick at all it is very lightweight uh, which i love as well because if you're using a living conditioner you don't want something that will sit on top of the hair really penetrate into your hair very easily especially if you have low porosity hair you really don't want something that is thick that you're going to leave on your hair so i really love the consistency you guys and i'll leave the link to this product in the description box below if you want to go and purchase it so i'm actually going to use this leave-in conditioner as a deep conditioner and i'm going to show you exactly how i mix my ingredients to make the deep conditioner so right here i have my shea miracle moisture intense living conditioner i'm going to show you how i mix the ingredients in order to have my deep conditioner for natural hair so i'm just going to take three tablespoons of the shea miracle and put it in a bowl three tablespoons you guys as you can see it's very lightweight um, it's not thick at all and I want it to be thick so right now I'm going to be adding my honey as well so honey is a humectant it actually draws in moisture from the environment as well it's like glycerin so you really want to add some honey to your living conditioner in order to make the deep conditioner for your natural hair so the next up product I'm going to use my coconut oil and rosemary oil I actually actually made this yesterday i was not filming it but i really love this you guys this will grow your hair like crazy okay i've done a video on this i will leave it in the card or in the description box below and this is my oil mix i love this mix i always use it every single time when i'm doing my hot oil treatment and lastly i'm going to add my fenugreek powder fenugreek is also known to actually reduce hair fall it's also known to thicken up your hair so i actually uh decided to to add this into my deep conditioner 
out for my natural hair okay so i'm going to sift it because it has uh large particles in it so yeah you guys this is how i do it then my last ingredient with this deep conditioner is my uh, deep cleansing conditioner you guys i normally use this to co-wash my hair so i'm going to use 10 uh, pumps in the deep conditioner to make it a little bit thicker because I really don't want it to be runny, runny consistency. So I actually decided to add, you know, my conditioner in there and I'm going to mix it up. Before I apply my leave-in conditioner as a deep conditioner, I'm going to show you my cornrows, you guys. This is how my cornrows are looking like. It's one month already with these cornrows in. So, yeah, you can hardly see my scalp, which means my hair is growing very well. So, let's go use it. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back again. So, I'm going to use my leave-in uh, fenugreek spray and rosemary spray. These are my cornrows. As you can see, there's a lot of growth going on. And this is my cayenne pepper. I use it every single day on my edges you guys so that's why you see it reddish so i'm going to spray my cornrows with water always make sure that you spray it with water because you don't want to seal in the dryness so water is really going to help out a lot so as you can see yeah my hair is growing you guys and i'm very happy about that so i'm going to use the deep conditioner okay uh so this is how it's looking like it's a bit thick which i love i love the consistency so so i'm going to use it on my hair and you guys i'm going to be really generous with the amount as well so this is how i use my leave-in conditioner as a deep conditioner you don't have to have a deep conditioner in order to deep condition your hair you can actually use a leave-in conditioner to deep condition your natural hair so this is how i deep condition my cornrows you guys this is how i deep condition my cornrows so as you can see i'm actually coating all the hair and but the only trick with actually adding a deep conditioner to your hair is that when you're washing it out you really have to go on washing it out because if you don't wash it out properly it's going to cause a lot of build up on the hair which will actually be you know difficult to take out when you're taking out the cornrows so that is the other thing I was actually scared about too to deep condition my cornrows um, yeah because when taking down the cornrows it's going to be hard for me to take it down but don't worry about that i'll wash it out i'll make sure that i wash everything out as you can see you guys my nape hair is growing do you see that hi so you guys yeah this is how you deep condition your cornrows you guys doing this on plated hair this will make your hair grow faster okay so yeah this is how you deep condition your cornrows you guys i really really love how my hair is fit. so right now with deep conditioning my cornrows i'm also going to be using my mixture of oils just to coat the hair just to make sure that yeah i'm giving the, my hair that extra moisture and i'm also going to use this plastic you guys to tie my head because i will be sitting under a hooded dryer okay <laughs> 